Hey guys, what's going on? This is Russell with Capstone Home Theater in the North Dallas uh, area, uh, Frisco Little Elm specifically. And today we're going to be showing you guys how to install a pair of stereo speakers in a home that wasn't previously pre-wired. We're going to show you some of the tools that you need to get the job done right, and then we're going to walk you through step by step how to get it done. So, like I said, before we get started, we're going to need a few tools. Um, we're going to need a tape measure, a Phillips head screwdriver, a stud finder, and if you've got one, a laser tape measure makes this a whole lot easier because you don't have to worry about your regular tape measure folding over and bending on you and making things difficult. Uh, some painter's tape to mark off where our studs and joists are. Jab saw to cut out the drywall. Uh, wire strippers, carpenter's pencil, uh, and of course the speaker. Uh, we're going to be installing a pair of those. And then lastly, this guy right here isn't necessary, but it does make uh, lining up uh, our speakers quite a bit easier, just in case the room isn't uh, completely uh, symmetrical. Uh, this right here is a laser level. You can pick it up at any hardware store. Turn that guy on and it will shoot lasers all over the room to help us make sure that when we line up our speakers uh, in line with our light right here. So we're going to have a speaker here in the ceiling and then a speaker just on the opposite side in the ceiling. Uh, make sure they line up with the light. That way even when they're off, uh, you know, it looks like it was professionally done. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll need a ladder, and if you have one, uh, a little drop cloth uh, helps to catch any debris uh, that might fall on the floor, keep things a little cleaner. And uh, I happen to carry some of this uh, painter's plastic just to cover up important things like uh, computers and electronics, make sure we don't get any debris in those, uh, and also helps uh, make cleanup uh, just a little bit easier. Next. We're going to use our stud finder to find all of our joists uh, in the ceiling. Uh, we're going to tape them off and then we're going to take our measurements and make sure that everything lines up perfectly. All right, guys, now that we've taken measurements of the room and we know roughly where we want to put our speaker between this wall and this light fixture, it's going to be roughly 32 and an eighth inches uh, from the wall to the center of the speaker. Uh, but before we get there, first we're going to use our stud finder, make sure we find the studs in the ceiling, tape them off, uh, that way we make sure we don't make any mistakes and cut our speaker hole in and then oops there's a stud, now we have a big problem and need to fix some drywall. So to avoid that we're going to get some of our painter's tape and our stud finder and we're just going to map out where those studs are. So we got one right there. Put a little piece of tape to mark that, and then looks like our other one's going to be right about there. Now, uh, just in case it's uh, not common knowledge, uh, most of the time your joists in the ceiling are going to be spaced about 24 inches apart. So if you put some tape in the ceiling and you're not sure that it, it you know that that's the correct spacing go ahead and grab your uh tape measure pull that out and go center to center and yeah, that's about 24 inches so we know for sure that's where uh, our studs on this side are going to be i'm going to rotate the camera get the uh studs over there and then we should be ready to uh put our speaker stencils in place get those nice and even, uh, and then it'll be ready to mark them and cut them. Okay, so we know where uh, our joists are uh, on both sides of the light fixture. So now we're going to use our handy uh, laser pointer, uh, or excuse me, not laser pointer, but uh, laser tape measure uh, to measure off uh, roughly 
32 inches and an eighth uh, toward this wall. And then uh, running this way, the room is exactly 11 feet. So we're gonna make sure that we're at uh, five feet, six inches going this way, 32 and a quarter going that way. Uh, we're gonna make our marks. And then we've got our speaker stencil right here. And we put just a little bit of blue painter's tape on the other side so that we can uh, stick it to the ceiling um, and make some micro adjustments. Uh, make sure everything is perfectly lined up uh, on this light fixture. So we're gonna make, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna do it for the other side. And then we'll break out the laser level uh, to make sure that they're all lined up perfectly. All right, so now we're gonna stick the center of our stencil right where X marks the spot. That should be pretty darn close. We'll just take that up there for now. And then we'll take a few more measurements once we, once we get the second one up. We've got our speaker stencils uh, lined up beautifully. I don't know if you can see behind me. Let's see if we can get a little, a little better light over here. There we go. So you can see we've got our lasers set up uh, directly on the light. And then you can see just a little bit in the background here, kind of running across the ceiling. We've got speaker stencil one right there. And let me flip the camera around for us. I'm gonna jump up on the ladder and give you guys a closer look. There we go. So we've got <clears throat> our laser line there, making sure that our speaker stencil is perfectly in line with our light fixture. And then following our laser line across, there we go. There is our second speaker stencil. So they are perfectly even with the wall and with our light fixture, and of course, perfectly even with that wall, dead center, and perfectly center with the wall behind us. So, now that we've got our stencils uh, taped to the ceiling and perfectly lined up with our light fixture, we're gonna go ahead and use our carpenter pencil to trace the, uh, trace the stencil, and then after that, we should be ready to cut some speakers in the ceiling. Now that we've got the stencil outlined in the ceiling, now we're ready for the jab saw. We're just gonna shove that straight into the ceiling right where our pencil marks are. And uh, just a little pro tip, uh, not necessary, we've got the drop cloth below, but to help make cleanup uh, a little easier, the box the speakers come in uh, are also great as kind of a dust catcher. Uh, again, not necessary, but it does help cut down on the dust in the room when you're cutting the speakers in. So if you can, I'd recommend it. If not, then don't worry, let the drop cloth catch everything. All right, so we're just gonna punch right in and then start making our cuts. All right, now that we got the jab saw in there, grab our box and start cutting. Last little cut. <laughs> and 
now that we've got the hole cut out of the ceiling, we're going to reach up there and grab the speaker wire that we ran earlier, and we're going to use a pair of wire strippers. There we go. Be careful not to pull a bunch of insulation down on you. There we go. That should be enough right there. So we'll go ahead, cut our speaker wire, get ready to install that speaker. Speaker wire is cut and twisted. We're good to go. We are ready to connect the speaker wire to the speaker terminals and then we'll use our Phillips head screwdriver to tighten these little flanges. There we go. Let's see if we can get a better. There we go. These little flanges right here flip out and hug onto the drywall and keep the speaker nice and snug up there. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we get our speakers nice and tight uh, in these terminals. Super easy to use. You just push in, put the speaker in, and then the spring load uh, hugs the copper for us and make sure it stays in place and we don't have to worry about it. So we'll go ahead and get those connected. All right, speaker wire is connected to our speaker. We're just gonna push that little bit of excess speaker wire back up into the ceiling and we should have a perfect fit for our speaker. So we'll go ahead, tighten up two of these screws. Keep that guy in place and then we'll get the other two and then we'll go ahead and set up the other speaker on the other side. Now, if you have a drill, that definitely makes this this part a little bit easier. However, if you are using a drill, make sure that you uh, lower the setting on the drill, clutch it way down so that you don't over uh, tighten the tabs. Because if you over tighten them, they'll break off and then your speaker will fall out of the ceiling and uh, that's definitely not good for, for anyone. So the uh, old fashioned way definitely helps prevent that. And if you're wondering how tight to twist these, uh, make sure they're snug, but uh, if you're twisting with two fingers and can't twist anymore, I'd say that's a good, uh, good amount of pressure to be putting on these without putting too much. There we go, nice and snug. Let's go ahead and pull this tape off the ceiling. And then we'll put the cherry on top of this guy. All we need to do, all we have left, we're gonna go grab one of the magnetic grills, and just rest it up there, magnets will do the rest. So here's our magnetic grill right there. We're just gonna set that up there nice and easy. And there you go, one of two done. We'll go ahead and get the other one done, get it connected to some sound, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all complete. Well, there you go guys, we've got the room cleaned up, we've got some tunes going. So you can see our left speaker over there 
right speaker over there. And hopefully you can hear a little bit of the music we got going on in the background. Um, if you liked the video, found any value, give us a like and a, give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, we'll be producing more content like this in the future, so stay tuned for more videos. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you're looking to have some speakers installed in your home, uh, home theater, anything audio-video related, TV hangs, speaker installs, uh, home theater setup, whatever the case may be, we'd be happy to uh, help you out with your project. Give us a call, shoot us a text. Send us an email. We'd be happy to help you out with your project. Until the next video, we'll see you then. This is Russell with Capstone Home Theater. Take it easy.